Good evening, everyone. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is October 30th, 2018. And I wanted to just bring a quick update to you guys about the connection that has been made between Halloween and the beginning of Noah's flood. The Bible says that the coming of Christ will be as in the days of Noah. And there have been amazing studies that have been done that have shown that the beginning of the flood was at the time of Halloween. And I want to bring your attention to these studies. I'm not going to go over all the details of these studies, but I want to give you a link so that you can search this out for yourself. Let me share uh, what I have found with you. So if we go to Google and we search Noah Flood Halloween, looks like Google is in the Halloween spirit. There are three articles that come up that I want to share with you. I'll just share the link to this uh, to this Google search and you can uh, find this for yourself if you would like to study more about this. Halloween the flood of Noah is there a link? The connection between Halloween and the great flood. The origins of Halloween and Noah's flood. Many theologians and church scholars, if we go into this article, according to this third article, the origin of Halloween and Noah's flood. Many theologians and church historians are aware of the significance of Halloween but unfortunately, the average American child celebrates the holiday totally, totally oblivious to its great importance in God's deal. <laughs> October 31st, Halloween, meaning hallowed or sacred evening, is the day that Noah boarded the ark and the great flood came upon the earth to destroy the first world. One year and ten days later, Noah left the ark on Mount Ararat. All around the world, ancient cultures from China to the, to, the South America, to the South American celebrated October 31st as both a New Year's Day and a day to remember the dead. Since that date is so universally celebrated, these traditions may have origi originated from the oral traditions passed down by Noah to his descendants. Since the Great Flood was such an awesome event, the ancient peoples memorialized the day, even as modern Americans has, have memorialized D-Day, Pearl Harbor, Hiroshima, etc. The most complete collection of these flood legends from all over the world is contained in Richard Andrews' German work, Die Flutsagen, and James Grazier's Folklore in the Old Testament. The Bible verifies these ancient flood traditions as being accurate. In Genesis 7, 11, the, the scriptures state that the flood came on the second month and the 17th day of the month. The first month in the biblical Hebrew agricultural calendar is September, Exodus 34, 22. Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, is celebrated in mid-September. The second month begins on about October 14th, and seven days Hence is October 31st. Although the modern Jewish New Year falls on a different day in September every year, the ancient Hebrew calendar appears to place October 31st as the date of the Great Flood. According to biblical chronology, the Great Flood took place in about 2517 BC. Over the passing years, the origins of the Hallowed Eve have been either forgotten or distorted, such was the case in the English people of the, who descended from Noah's son Japheth and grandson Gomer. The ancient English Druid priest would celebrate October 31st by pulling down and rebuilding the roof of their temple as a symbol of the destruction and renovation of the world. To remember the dead, the people were instructed to place an offering of food on the graves of departed loved ones. The people could not keep the poor children in the towns from disguising themselves and stealing the food off the graves. 
This custom has evolved into the American practice of trick or treat. October 31st is also associated with the Roman Catholic All Saints Day. In the year 607 AD, the Roman Emperor presented to the Pope the Roman, the, the Roman Pantheon. Originally, this building was dedicated to Jupiter. The Pope cleansed it and dedicated it to the service of God on May 13th. The dedication, the bones of the martyrs from the various cemeteries were paraded through the city. This yearly celebration became popularized through the Western Church. And in 835, the Pope made it an official church holy day and moved it to November 1st. The date was moved for two reasons. The convenience of celebrating after the harvest and the Roman pagans already celebrated the 1st of November as a pagan holiday to remember the dead. The Catholic Church was quick to Christianize pagan holidays. This is why we celebrate the birth, birth of Jesus on December 25th, the day the Romans celebrated the winter solstice. The Roman Church probably did not realize at the time that the pagan celebration of October 31st was once rooted in a biblical event. The history of Halloween is, illustrates for us the words of the Apostle Paul, for even though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their speculations and their foolish heart was darkened. <laughs>